Is it like? Is it like a prince kind of? Uh huh. So I was trying to mention a prince. Okay. Science, so science. this is Tam Tamil Tamil prince. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. But look at that. I dare you to try this food. I dare you. Man. Man, I urge everyone to try this food. Wow. This is unbelievable. So can he. So can he. Hello brothers, brothers, sisters, sisters, how you doing? It is your boy, Cookie we see in the cool I'm back again. Yes, we're still in the northern parts of Ghana, Tamale. And today we are preparing one of the indigenous local food we have in the northern parts of Ghana. This food we're about to prepare has a twist like one of the local food we have in the southern parts of Ghana called Upper Prensa. But over here, they use a different ingredients and a different setup and process all together. They use shea butter oil to prepare this food. Man, very delicious food and I urge you to try this food. Hello. I'm out to Amina Panna, and this is the Dogo in Tamale. So the Dogo is um, kitchen, that's the literal meaning, and um, here we make um, traditional indigenous meals. I mean, we serve as an ethnic kitchen and also um, ethnic restaurant where we um, aim to revitalize lost um, traditional meals, spices, um, grains, and all of that. And so, cooking with Sandiko is here in the dog today, and I'm excited to host him because, man, I've been consuming his content on Facebook for a long while. Okay. So, today we are making yamwanda. What is it called? Yamwanda. Yamwanda. So, we have two types of yama. We have yankanda and then yamwanda. They are all made out of whole grain corn. Okay. You know, we have the refined um, corn, corn flour. Yeah. So the unrefined one, that's that's the only one we can use to make it. That's the key ingredient yeah. here. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If this is the first time watching, kindly share this video as much as you can so that I can showcase our local food to us, we Africans and Ghanaians as well. Let's do this. Record. <laughs> So we have our local pot over here, made with clay, and now we're commencing with uh, the cooking. So what's the name of the cooking again? Yeah, yeah. We are making yamwanda for now. Yam That's our, our first meal. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we have tomatoes, fresh tomatoes. Okay. We have our onions here. Okay. And then we have our whole grain flour. Okay, the whole grain. Can you please explain the whole, like the process of the whole grain? So that means the bran hasn't been removed. Okay. There are some that they soak. And they remove the brand okay, okay. And then they, they mill it okay. but this one is whole grain because the brand the, uh, hasn't been removed okay. that's the fiber okay it's okay. intact okay. so it's whole grain okay and this is our shea butter, butter. Exactly. and we have our spice and then we have our amani okay these are essentially what we need so you have our shea butter inside as yeah. i keep saying the shea butter is one of the healthiest oil we have in ghana but unfortunately our people are not consuming it but I keep always demonstrating, show, showcasing you that you can use this and it's edible. I try it all the time myself and it's very delicious. So this is our local uh, blender, yeah, our pounder. Mm -hmm. So the paste and the mortar over here, our pounder are perfect. Mm -hmm. What I, li I like about cooking with shepherd oil is that this foamy part that when you add the water, it's good. <laughs> it's like, it's amazing, you know. <laughs> So what really inspired you to do set, like this kind of setup and everything like what, so, what? so I mentioned earlier that my grandmother used like okay. so I grew up with her. Okay. I grew up with her in a very typical um traditional section, way, okay. Traditional way, yeah. So I was used to that kind Culture, of meals. Yeah, kind of stuff, okay. the traditional meals. So subsequently after my visa I went to Accra, the food was different, yeah. it was white rice. <laughs> I couldn't eat, so I was almost always buying TZ. Okay. The Mountie was fed up, like doing villager. <laughs> <laughs> so he sold me the bambula. Okay, what does it mean? Um, villager. Ah, villager, okay. Villager, okay. To cover, huh? So I came back to Tamale, and then somewhere 2014, there about, when you go out to buy um, rice balls, then it's made out of refined rice. Okay. It makes sense to me because yeah. my test bars were, were used to be uh, that brown rice, brown rice, local rice. Local rice yeah. So things were changing, and then. So somewhere 2015, I came up with the concept of the dogu okay. to, 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 to bring back the... The local stores. Yeah, because I believe that things were just fast. It, moving out here, yeah. hiding, yeah. And then I didn't want that because <laughs> I know um, traditional meals, they um, 
they define our culture yeah. just like our traditional attires yeah, and then exactly. we, when we lose them we lose ourselves exactly. so i felt like someone should do something exactly and then i'm here doing that thing yeah. so even though i don't know everything so i've been researching and asking around and i'm still learning about some lost lost ingredients yeah. and the grace and the spices yeah. and the cooking techniques yeah, exactly. and i think i think we have, we have the same mission because that's the yeah. same mission i'm also pursuing uh -huh. So we're going to add our tomatoes. Okay. Okay, so the tomatoes are going to be added. So we fry our tomatoes until the tomatoes are going to be added. Okay. And the other one around this place is going to be delicious. Yum, wonder. 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 So it's a corn flour meal with the sauce, I believe. Ah, too. Okay, you don't have to have. Okay, it's just like how people mix perfumes. Yeah. Okay. It's a bit. Okay, so that's guys oil. Per her explanation, and the reason why she set up this place is the the same kind of mission that I'm pursuing. Man, our local food has been it's been hidden. We are losing everything. Like the, the generation coming are not going to understand anything from our culture and tradition. Man, we have to do something about it. Okay, so that's the reason why that you have to keep sharing the videos when they come. So that it stays and someone might want to see something and learn something new. Okay. The Indomie and the rice and everything is like it's killing us. It's really killing us. And everything is now just being refined. Rice yeah. is being refined, refined oils, refined everything. <laughs> it, <laughs> Even our local the flour that we use to make teas. Yeah. It's not being refined. They take off all the fiber. The one they take off the brand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean the one yeah, that yeah, they, they, yeah. exactly, yeah. What's the nutrients? It's, it's, it's really sad. Pepper. So that's the pepper. Pounded. Yeah, pounded. Yeah. 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 So because it's a traditional meal, we don't add a lot of spices. Exactly. Yeah, okay. So this is the powdered cream we use our special. Oh, okay. This is it. Okay. So this is the raw form when you dry it. Ah, this is the, yeah. the, the green one. Yeah, this okay. is it. Okay. So we usually soak it before we add it to our meals. Oh, okay. So it still also adds flavor to it. Ah, so can you choose to use this this raw or the pounded one? No, you can even use both. Both, okay. Yeah. In one meal. So to our dawa dawa jalaw, uh -huh. so this is <laughs> this is what informs the dawa dawa jalaw. This one and dawa dawa. Oh, okay. But it's also almost out of the system. People yeah. don't use it like that okay. anymore. But we still do. Okay. My mother do. I also do. Okay. So we we'll add it. Okay. Yeah. So that's dry spring onion. Dry spring onion. We call it gabo gamuna. Gamuna. Yeah. Okay, gamuna. So the, the, the green part of the spring onion, right? Yeah. The, green, the leaf. Yeah. Okay. Adding our amani. So do something like that. We're gonna add water. Okay. Yeah. Yambaga. So we'll add our spice. What spice is this one? So we we'll use a uh, gobo. Okay. I'm not supposed to say. So this is the um, powdered um, spring onions. Okay. It will come to a ball. Okay. Then we're we'll gonna add our flour. The flour okay. And then knead it or stir. Okay. So we have our boiling soup or sauce. <laughs> and as you can see, everything is being rough inside. You can see the pepper, the tomatoes, they are the salt to So before the corn uh, flour comes in, we take some of the soup out. Isn't it like a prensa kind of? Uh -huh. So I was trying to mention a prensa. Okay, inside, so inside. this is Tam Tamil Mm-hmm. Wow! Wow, but look at that. Man, they have upper pressure in Tamale. <laughs> Man, I'll try this. Wow, so look at the, the, the spring onion. Mm -hmm. Wow. And so if you stand like that. So what, what happens with the rest of the sauce? I'll add it and let it um, absorb it nicely. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Man, this is some upper pressure Pro Max. I'll do this and leave it. Wow. And close it to absorb it. Wow. Man, this is impressive. Like, woo! <laughs> I never knew they have this appetizer version in Tamale. And that's what we call our yamwanda. Yamwanda. Remember, I was struggling to mention the, some. Okay, yamwanda. Yeah. So appetizer. So, he's so we have something it. like this. He's absorbing it. Okay. Wow. So because the tomatoes is not blended, you can see chunks of it. Yeah. But is it? Can you also blend 
you, you like can use or mm. is it like we have a blending um granule stone, stone but yeah. because we didn't use it okay, and then okay. we chopped it that's okay. why okay so basically at, at this point it's all about stirring stirring mm -hmm. stirring uh, so we are adding the remaining sauce anyway fully packed amazing spring onions the dried ones gabu gabu <laughs> So this is, a, the, I believe, the final step of it. Yeah. And it's been on fire for like roughly 15 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Just to cook the the, the corn. When it's done, yeah. we should eat it while it's still hot and okay. soft, okay. tender. Or when it hardens, it's sort of it's still nice anyway. But I mean. You know, you don't recommend. Yeah, yeah I do not recommend. Yeah. So, <laughs> okay. when I eat it, when it's still soft and hot and tender, yeah, yeah. that's where you feel the vibe and everything. Exactly. So, this food is served hot, hot cake, Agasa. So it's not ready, and we have a calabash with leaves inside and goes like that. Wow, 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 this is beautiful. So this, and, uh, we dip in shea butter, shea butter, like this. Wow. Wow. Then we eat. Amazing. Look at this. Beautiful. Beautiful. Man, this is perfect. So, man, we have our food over here. Yam, yamwanga, right? <coughs> yamwanda. I keep saying the ga ga ga. Yamwanda. And look at the shebata. Man, it's melting. We're creating that kind of. Wow. Amazing. No, I wash my hand to use. So, the calabash with water. And, uh, man. Basically. Man. So we pour them our mother. Okay. So we put inside the shea butter oil. Mm. Wow. Man, it has that flavor like the that kind of plant side so. Eh, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. Mm. Man, I dare you to try this food. I dare hey, you. You can be seen that way. Oh coro. I said even on Izo. Hey! <laughs> wow! Man, I dare you, I dare you to try this recipe. Easy, eh? Easy recipe. No, it's too much. Yeah, so this is Madame Amena, the lady behind this authentic, traditional, local food. Yamoda. Yam Yamoda. Yamoda. Amazing recipe. So, 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 so delicious. <laughs> Oh, man, what's in the entry? Papa will stream. <laughs> Trust me, not only the entry, everything is exceptional over here. I want you to call here, make your order, come here and try some typical local traditional food from northern parts of Ghana. But um, give it them your details. Okay, so we are on Facebook at the Dugu Show. On IG is um the Dugu Experience. And can, my can, you, can you spell? Dudugu is D U D U D U D U D U D U H J U. Okay. Dudugu. Okay. D U D U H J U. Okay. That's kitchen. Okay. So on Facebook you add show to it Dudugu show. Okay. On Instagram is Dudugu experience. Okay. And on WhatsApp you can reach us on zero two four six two zero seven seven three eight. Man, you have all the info, so you don't have any excuse. To say that no, I've not. Man, you need to come here. So this order. Okay. You can add the share butter if you want. It's good, man. Huh? I'm melting. Yeah. You can you can make order. Call her, make order, and she can cook and deliver to you. No matter where you are in Ghana. Mm -hmm. If you're in Ghana, put it down, Sebeka. Man. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I'm speechless. Let me leave your food for you. <laughs> so we just added share butter to it. I keep saying that share butter is edible. And I'm, I'm setting myself an example mm -hmm. by eating every day. Okay, it's edible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's for today. Hope you like the video. If this is your first time watching, kindly subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a brother. Who can we see in that call? Let's meet again for Shazam Manizo. And again, I dare you to try this food. And let me know in the comment section. Yamoda. Yamoda. I got this right. Yamoda. Wow.